This is uh, Kevin Fernandez from the CBD shop. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we have a segment today called CBD Company Highlights. It's where we interview companies within the CBD industry to learn more about them, their vision, their mission, and the products they offer. Um, so today we have uh, Matt Gaines, um, who is a sales rep from Koi CBD out of Norwalk, California. Um, just to give you a little bit of background by Koi CBD, they were established in 2015, um, and their mission was to create high quality CBD within their products. Uh, Koi CBD, they create, they have uh, numerous products which include tinctures, uh, juices, edibles, um, topicals, as well as their own uh, product line for pets. Um, they have uh, products offered online, um, as well as several several locations located out in the U.S., including our own CBD shop located in Kissimmee, Florida. Um, so with that, welcome, Matt. How you doing today? I'm doing well, Kevin. Thanks for having me here. Thank you. Thank you for uh, uh, coming um, and sitting down and having an interview with us. Um, like we mentioned, uh, this segment is really to highlight uh, the the good CBD companies that's out there in this overcrowded market. Um, there's a lot of uh, companies out there with uh, their, their practices are just deceiving our, our customers and overall community. So we want to take this opportunity to actually uh, gives the, the good CBD companies that are actually doing it the right way a platform and a way to raise awareness and, and give the overall community a sense of trust. So um, with that, um, Matt, can you tell us a little bit uh, the history behind the Koi CBD brand? Yeah, of course. Um, Koi was started in 2015. Uh, like a lot of other people in the industry, we came from the vape market. Uh, we were manufacturing e-liquids and kind of started off in a, in a CBD vapable uh, isolate e-liquid. And uh, that just kind of really started taking off from there. Um, then after that, we came out with some gummies and then the tinctures. And man, things just started absolutely taking off. And uh, we're super happy to see where everything had gone. Um, we've come a really, really long way and really excited to see, you know, where CBD is going to continue to go. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And um, can you give uh, the audience a little bit of, of a backstory behind the Koi CBD brand? Um, I mean, you guys are definitely have a great online presence, uh, do a great job marketing. Can you guys just give us a little bit of a backstory of when Koi CBD was created, what was the overall goal? What was the objective? The overall goal and the overall objective was to offer some, offer people a solution that's gonna, you know, be what it is. Um, there's a big problem in the CBD industry with not having the product of, you know, what you're supposed to have and your product not being up to standard. And I think that's kind of really where we wanted to go. We wanted to make sure that if people were looking to get something, they could find what they were looking for in a really high quality product that uh, they can get from an extremely transparent company where they know exactly what they're getting. Good, good. Yeah, that's great to hear. And then, uh, I mean, again, you guys do a great job marketing. One of your kind of catchphrases or motto, I should say, is uh, creating balance daily. Um, can you uh, explain how that was created and, and what's the meaning behind that phrase? Yeah, of course. Um, with uh, with taking CBD, I mean, really the whole purpose and, and what it's going to be doing is creating balance within your body. Um, and so that that's really where we wanted to go. We wanted a product that people can use daily and would enjoy using daily. Um, as I'm sure you know, and a lot of people out there that have tried Koi, it, it tastes absolutely phenomenal. And that's really what sets us apart. And we want to have a product that people look forward to using every day instead of people, you know, struggle to suck down like medicine. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, we 100% we, we agree with that. Um, can you tell us uh, some of your, I mean, we touched on in the beginning, some of your product line offering, what's some of your best sellers, and also what, what can we expect down the road from Koi as far as uh, products rolling out in the market? Of course. So we have a, a handful of different product categories currently, and we're always looking to expand on that. Uh, right now, we have our original vape line, which is still always doing really, really well. Um, our tinctures, which have actually become one of our more popular categories, the Koi Naturals. Uh, there's six flavors there. 
And then the uh, the salve, the topical healing balm, is extremely popular. That's actually become one of our most popular products over the past three or four months. Um, there's now a travel size to that. We have more topical products such as scented lotions. Uh, we have pet products. We have beverages, wellness shots, uh, and, and the, you know the list is going to keep growing. Uh, down the road, you can expect to see um, some sk uh, skincare line with a couple different products there. Um, we have some gel caps coming out and then a, uh, an aerosol inhaler as well. Okay, cool, cool. Um, and, and then the, the CBD you guys use in your products, the hemp plant, can, can you uh, touch on where is that being harvested and what's the extraction process you guys are doing just for, you know, kind of transparency out there for the community? Yeah, so we, we harvest all of our CBD from a farm in, in, uh, in Kentucky, and that's where all of our industrial hemp is going to be grown. Um, from there, it's extracted in Los Angeles, and then the products are manufactured in Los Angeles. Uh, we have a proprietary extraction method, which is really what sets the product aside and what gives it the all the good, good features that it really has, like the good taste, um, and then the non-detectable THC as well. So we do a CO2 extraction method with an ethanol wash. Uh, and what that does for us, and, and the way we kind of do it, is we extract out the natural hemp terpenes first, then we bring out the cannabinoids, remove the THC, and then reintroduce the natural uh, the natural hemp terpenes. So you can get a lot of those benefits and get that strong entourage effect without necessarily having to have the THC in there. Um, and then we do the test down to 10 parts per million, the 0.001% to, to ensure that there's no uh, non-detectable THC in there. That's, that's very important out there. I mean, so I, as a retailer, some of the most common questions I get is, you know, does this give me high, does it have THC in two, will I fail a drug test? So that's very important. And, and I, I do want to touch on that, that, you know, what's unique about you guys is the extraction process and how uh, the transparency you guys offer. Um, just to let everybody know, um, you know, you guys were one of the first ones to use the QR code scans. And um, so can you talk about the lab results? I mean, if, if anybody wants to uh, purchase a Koi CBD product, will they have access to your lab results? And if so, what would those lab results uh, be found? Of course. Uh, and our lab results are something that we absolutely pride ourselves on uh, because it's something that we think that you should. Um, with with our lab results, we actually do a two-stage test. We do a, uh, a test where right when we get the product, uh, right when we get the raw material, that allows us to find out the exact weight of CBD so we can use pharmaceutical compounding. That means we can tell the exact weight so we can make sure when we say 1,000 milligrams of CBD, you get 1,000 milligrams of CBD. Most of the case is 1,000 milligrams of hemp extract, which is only going to be about 40 to 60% pure. And you're not quite getting what you need on the CBD. It's also not super Super accurate. So we do a, a third-party lab test right when we get the raw material and then we also do another one once the end product is done and we do that for every single batch as well which currently isn't the standard in CBD but we think that it should. You should really be testing every single batch because you want to make sure all of the products that you put out are going to be exactly what you're saying they are because that's I see one of the hugest problems on the market right now and then we also uh, do a three-phase uh, full panel lab test. So not only are we testing for cannabinoids and terpenoids, but we're also testing or testing foreign toxins, microtoxins, we're testing uh, water level on our topical products for heavy metals, anything that we possibly can to make sure our product is going to be safe. And then we do post all the lab results for every single batch of our product on our website. Okay, that's good. So you guys offer that full level of transparency. Um, guys offer all, uh, the lab results on your website for any customer review so that's that's good and lot, not a lot of companies out there in the market are doing that so that's very important to mention so um, can, you, can you talk about who's who's your target audience Who, who's out there buying Koi products right now our target audience is pretty much any and everybody buying CBD uh, a lot of the people that we see picking up Koi right now are going to be in about uh, I'd say probably the, the 20 to 35 year old range. Um, I've gotten my parents on it as well. All of my family's using Koi. Uh, the healing bomb's a real big hit in my family. Um, but that's that's the awesome thing about, about CBD is there's so many different people using it. And that's where uh, we've been so happy with Koi. We've been able to you know be successful in a lot of different uh, a lot of different categories and a lot of different types of businesses from tanning salons to doctor's offices to vape shops and head shops to natural 
natural food stores and supplement stores. Um, you know, the branding doesn't hold it just in one place. So we've been able to see some success in pharmacies with uh, an older community of maybe 65 plus, but then we've also really been able to have some good success in um, a vape shop or a smoke shop where your demographic is more, um, you know, 18 this to 25. Is, uh, Kevin Fernandez right, from right. So kind of shop. broad spectrum. Um, you know, thank you for joining uh, us. Everybody uh, we have a today yeah, today it, called CBD, ways, right? Company yeah, it's kind of all over the board uh, where we, uh, right we, now. We are seeing a little bit more, um, I'd say the heavier, the heavier demographic vision, would be around the, the 30 year old range. And uh, um, definitely so we see uh, we have, a little uh, bit more Matt female James, action than we do male um, action in terms of buying sales CBD. rep from sure, sure. And, and can you talk about what's the most effective California. way you guys are out there um, marketing, raising a little awareness bit of by Koi, about CBD, not just CBD overall, but about Koi? Obviously, um, it's a and very restrictive uh, uh, online in, their uh, in order to market uh, and raise awareness. So, what, can you touch on what's the best effective ways you guys got out there to raise awareness about CBD and the brand? And how you guys are retaining the as customers. Well as their own, uh, I think a lot of that comes products. from the really awesome team um, that we have. They at have uh, um, we we come into work online, every single day. Uh, We're all happy. Several, I mean, I drive two and a half hours to work every uh, single day, and then two and a half hours home. I'm dedicated. I love everybody there. And, and um, so with that, you know, it's it's, it's a great company to support. And I, and I think I'm that's where a lot of it came from because when you hear us talk about Koi CBD and we get so excited about it, it's contagious. And with the amazing marketing and branding that we been able to uh, have and we've been blessed to have really to uh, when we put koi uh, in someone's uh, store and we get them excited CBD about it, 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 it feed, they feed market. off it and uh, um, in terms they get excited of, about uh, it and, and the customers can definitely feel that with, uh, when the customers get an opportunity to try the product before they purchase it which is I think another thing that kind of sets us apart yeah it really it really sets the tone for how the customer experience is going to be and I think that's really important and having a really enjoyable product has definitely made a lot of people uh, you know really spread the word about us so um with that oh, cool, um cool. Matt, yeah, like we mentioned i mean um, you know, the CBD industry the right now, um, you know, yeah, of course. it's an uh, overcrowded well, market right now. There's dozens and dozens uh, of companies like out there uh, the creating the same product. So um, uh, we for somebody that's and thinking about using CBD off for the first time, can, can you uh, isolate, uh, explain uh, how and, uh, the Koi brand kind of really started is different and how you guys are unique and how you guys stand out from the rest of the market? And then the of course, and um, a lot of the man, products that just started in the market fall into a couple and, uh, categories. Uh, uh, there's a broad spectrum where everything is isolated, um, we've and then there's going to be a really full spectrum. Way and uh, really full spectrum see, products you know, are going to be a whole plant extraction go. where everything that you yeah, have in the yeah, bottle is going good. to be extracted and, um, from the plant. Uh, the and then you have your isolate, which is going to be CBD by itself. And our product is really different because, like I said, it's proprietary and it's a proprietary extraction process. And that puts us. Uh, just puts us in a little bit different category than a lot of other people. Koi uh, with Koi created, products, you have overall, many different categories where you can find the product that's going to match your method of use to offer some for your, you know, your re uh, regimen. You know, and then you can also uh, get a product that's you know, in the CBD industry that you enjoy using and a product that that works and people have found benefit from. I think that's going to be the biggest thing when trying Koi products is making sure that you try them and staying consistent. Product okay. that uh, okay. they can get from an extremely okay. transparent and then, company um, where they know exactly Obviously, what they get. within the industry, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, you know. And then uh, uh, a lot of regulatory again, agencies, agencies that's kind of holding me down on the industry kind of overall. Um, can you talk about how it's creating balance for that? How you plan for that? What do you guys you, expect uh, from a regulatory standpoint? Um, you know, it seems like every month behind that phrase, it's not the FDA yeah, or the course, USDA, uh, they're coming uh, out with some type of regulation for that. So can you can you speak on that a little bit? Creating balance. Well, there hasn't really been a lot of guidance from that's really where they wanted to go. Federal government or much on on how to market the product, and I, think, and I think that's where um, things really sure need you know, to head. A lot of people um, we, to we need to get some type of information. I think we need to set some ground rules early in the game. Apart. And um, we want to make sure that you know everybody can play fairly. Uh, Eighty percent you know, of the market right, right now is either not putting the product. Sure. Sure, yeah. In the bottle of what they're supposed to, or they're adding things in there that really aren't um, supposed to be us, there, and that's uh, something that your, I think we need to grab a hold of before we see things, you know, kind of spiral out of control. Some of your best um, and also what, as far as what they're going to move forward with the FDA the and, and, and any type of regulations, it's still kind of, to, in my of eyes, course, it's still so kind of up in the air. We're still kind of unsure on on where they're really wanting to take things because on certain sides we see the government being supportive of CBD, like Mitch McConnell trying to lay down foundation for the CBD. 
market. Um, but then on the other side of things, we have uh, six flavors there. We have and then other the, parts uh, of the government, the like the FDA, the that are a little bit more strict and extremely. I mean, they they do kind of drag their feet at times, but hopefully we can get something in there a little bit sooner. Set some ground rules for for this market, and that way everybody can you know play fairly and and let the market grow to its potential. Have beverages, appreciate that, and you know the list is going to keep. And then Matt, is there anything else you want to add? Um, um, you know, yeah, feel free to comment on uh, on Koi CBD um, overall industry and you want your audience to know. And, and a, uh, Thank uh, uh, everybody well. for using Koi okay. CBD and cool, checking cool. us out. We really um, enjoy and, the and support. The, um, the we've been super happy to be serving y'all for uh, almost coming up on five years now. If there's if you're looking for a product, definitely stop by the CBD shop. Head over to KoiCBD.com if you're in a different area. We do have a store located where we're available in just about eight thousand stores across the United States. States, I believe, and that's where um, all of our and definitely try some stuff out um, from there. It's you know, look for us at events. We love going to events and seeing people. We like to do a lot of music uh, events and festivals and stuff method, like which that. Is really so, what sets the um, thank you everybody for giving us the support and and the enjoying Koi. We love all you guys. Has like the good taste. All right. Well, um, we'd like to thank you, Matt, uh, and Koi CBD well. so for taking the time to sit down CO2 and uh, for this interview for us. I think it was very insightful uh, and what that does for the for audience, and, and uh, a lot of good information. Um, and first, as you mentioned, uh, you guys are located in several the locations. And then but uh, the natural, if anybody uh, wants to learn more about the Koi CBD brand or see their products, they're at www.koicbd.com. Or as Matt mentioned, you can visit the CBD shop at Old Town and Kissimmee. Florida. We've sure been carrying no, uh, products now for almost over a year. That's, that's been uh, totally not satisfied. I mean, so, uh, Matt, thank you so much for taking the, the time out this weekend. Is, you know, uh, just sitting down with us. Uh, we appreciate your time. I fail and look forward test. to the so next one. All right. That's very awesome. important. Thanks for having me here, I do want to touch on that. Thank you, brother. All right. Hey, we're good now. I'm just going to stop the recording. Okay, cool. How was that? You guys offered. That was perfect, brother. Just to let everybody know. Thanks, man. You look great in the field, man. Thanks, man. This is the first time I've done something like this. Sure, I was gonna so, go. So, can you talk about the hey, lab yeah, results? I, 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 if, if anybody wants to uh, purchase a Koi CBD product, will they have access to your lab results? And if so, what would those lab results uh, be found? Of course. Uh, and our lab results are something that we absolutely pride ourselves on uh, because it's something that we think that you should. Um, with, with our lab results, we actually do a two-stage test. We do a, uh, a test where right when we get the product, uh, right when we get the raw material, that allows us to find out the exact weight of CBD so we can use pharmaceutical compounding. That means we can tell the exact weight so we can make sure when we say 1,000 milligrams of CBD, you get 1,000 milligrams of CBD. Most of the case is 1,000 milligrams of hemp extract, which is only going to be about 40 to 60% pure. And you're not quite getting what you need on the CBD. It's also not super accurate. So we do a, a third-party lab test right when we get the raw material. And then we also do another one once the end product is done. And we do that for every single batch as well, which currently isn't the standard in CBD, but we think that it should. You should really be testing every single batch because you want to make sure all of the products that you put out are going to be exactly what you're saying they are because that's, I see, one of the hugest problems on the market right now. And then we also uh, do a three-phase uh, full panel lab test. So not only are we testing for cannabinoids and terpenoids, but we're also testing, or testing foreign toxins, microtoxins. We're testing uh, water level on our topical products for heavy metals anything that we possibly can to make sure our product is going to be safe. And then we do post all the lab results for every single batch of our product on our website. Okay, that's good. So you guys offer that full level of transparency. Um, you guys offer all, uh, the lab results on your website for any customer review. So that's that's good. And lot, not a lot of companies out there in the market are doing that. So that's very important to mention. So um, can, you, can you talk about who's, who's your target audience? Who, who's out there buying Koi products? Right now, our target audience is pretty much any and everybody buying CBD. Uh, a lot of the people that we see picking up Koi right now are going to be in about, uh, I'd say, probably the, the 20 to 35-year-old range. Um, I've gotten my parents on it as well. All of my family's using Koi. Uh, the Healing Bomb's a real big hit in my family. Um, but that's that's the awesome thing about, about CBD is there's so many different people using it. And that's where uh, we've been so happy with Koi. We've been able to, you know, be successful in a lot of different, uh, a lot of different categories and a lot of different types of businesses from tanning salons to doctor's offices to vape shops and head shops to natural
natural food stores and supplement stores. Um, you know, the branding doesn't hold it just in one place. So we've been able to see some success in pharmacies with uh, an older community of maybe 65 plus, but then we've also really been able to have some good success in um, a vape shop or a smoke shop where your demographic is more, you know, 18 to 25. Right, right. So kind of broad spectrum, you know, uh, everybody's using CBD yeah, it, in different ways, right? Yeah, it's kind of all over the board uh, right now. We are seeing a little bit more. Um, I'd say the heavier the heavier demographic would be around the the thirty year old range, and uh, definitely we see uh, a little bit more female action than we do male action in terms of buying CBD. Sure, sure. And and can you talk about what's the most effective way you guys are out there marketing, raising awareness? about not just CBD overall, but about Koi. Obviously, it's a very restrictive uh, uh, online uh, in order to market and raise everyone. So what, can you touch on what's the best effective ways you guys uh, got out there to raise awareness about CBD and the brand and, and how you guys are retaining the customers? I think a lot of that comes from the really awesome team that we have at Koi. Um, we, we come into work every single day. We're all happy. I mean, I drive two and a half hours to work every single day and then two and a half hours home. I'm dedicated. I love everybody hey. there. And, um, you know, it's it's a great company to support. And I, and I think that's where a lot of it came from, because when you hear us talk about Koi CBD and we get so excited about it, it, it's contagious and uh, with the amazing marketing and branding that we've been able to have and we've been blessed to have uh, when we put koi in someone's store and we get them excited about it it, it feed they feed off it and uh, in terms they get excited about it and, and the customers can definitely feel that and when the customers get an opportunity to try the product before they purchase it which is a, I think another thing that kind of sets us apart yeah it really it really sets the tone for how the customer experience is going to be um, and I think that's really important. And having a, a really enjoyable product has definitely made a lot of people, you know, really spread the word about us. Okay, cool, cool. And then, like we mentioned, I mean, um, you know, the CBD industry right now, um, you know, it's an overcrowded market right now. There's dozens and dozens of companies out there uh, creating the same product. So um, for somebody that's thinking about using CBD for the first time, can, can you uh, explain how the Koi brand is different and how you guys are unique and how you guys stand out from the rest of the market? Of course. Um, a lot of the products that you'll see in the market fall into a couple categories. Uh, there's a broad spectrum, there's an isolate, and then there's going to be a full spectrum. Uh, full spectrum products are going to be a whole plant extraction where everything that you have in the bottle is going to be extracted from the plant. Uh, and then you have your isolate, which is just going to be CBD by itself. And our product is is really different because, like I said, it's proprietary and it's a proprietary extraction process, and that that puts us uh, puts us in a little bit different category than a lot of other people. Uh, with Koi products, you have many different categories where you can find a product that's going to match your method of use for your you know your re uh, regimen, and then you can also get a product that's you know that you enjoy using uh, and, a, and a product that that works and people have found benefit from. Um, I think that's going to be the the biggest thing when trying Koi products is, is making sure that you try them and uh, and staying consistent with it. Okay, okay. And then um, obviously within the industry, um, you know, there's a, a lot of regulatory agencies that's kind of homing down on the industry overall. Um, can you talk about how is Koi preparing for that? How are you plan for that? What do you guys expect from a regulatory standpoint? Um, you know, it seems like every month, if it's not the FDA or the USDA, they're coming out with some type of regulations for, for that. So can you can you speak on that a little bit? Uh, well, there hasn't really been a whole lot of guidance from uh, from any federal government or, or much on on how to market the product and I, th and I think that's where things really need to head um, we, we need to get some type of information I think we need to set some ground rules early in the game um, to make sure that you know everybody can play fairly 80% uh, of the market right now is either not putting the product in the bottle of what they're supposed to or they're adding things in there that really aren't supposed to be there and that's something that I think we need to grab a hold of before we see things you know kind of spiral out of control um, as far as what they're going to move forward with the FDA and, and any type of regulations, it's still kind of 
to in my eyes, it's still kind of up in the air. We're still kind of unsure on on where they're really wanting to take things because on certain sides we see the government being supportive of CBD, like Mitch McConnell trying to lay down a foundation for the CBD and hemp market. Um, but then on the other side of things, we have. Um, we have other parts of the government like the FDA that are a little bit more strict and I mean they, they do kind of drag their feet at times but hopefully we can get something in there a little bit sooner set some ground rules for for this market and that way everybody can you know play fairly and, and let the market grow to its potential oh okay yeah I appreciate that yeah um, and then uh, Matt is there anything else you want to add um, you know feel free comment on uh, on Koi CBD overall industry anything you want your audience to know thank uh, everybody for using Koi CBD and checking us out we really enjoy the support um, we've been super happy to be serving y'all for uh, almost coming up on five years now um, if there's uh, if you're looking for a product Definitely stop by the CBD shop. Head over to KoiCBD.com if you're in a different area. We do have a store locator where we're available in uh, just about 8,000 stores across the United States, I believe. Um, and definitely try some stuff out. Um, you know, look for us at events. We love going to events and seeing people. We like to do a lot of music events and festivals and stuff like that. So um, thank you, everybody, for giving us the support and, and enjoying Koi. We love all you guys. All right. Well, we'd like to thank you, Matt um, and Koi CBD, for taking the time to sit down and uh, for this interview for us. I think it was very insightful for the audience, uh, a lot of good information. Um, and as you mentioned, uh, you guys are located in several locations. But uh, if, uh, if anybody wants to learn more about the Koi CBD uh, brand or, or see their products, they're at www.koicbd.com. Or as Matt mentioned, you can visit the CBD shop at Old Town in Kissimmee, Florida. We've been carrying Koi products now for almost over a year. Been uh, totally satisfied. Matt, thank you so much for taking the time out this weekend, uh, sitting down with us. Uh, we appreciate your time and look forward to the next one, all right? Awesome. Thanks for having me here, Kevin. I appreciate it.